Hi everyone, this is Arohi and in this video, I'll talk about object detection. See, uh, what is object detection? So, the object detection simply means where the object is actually present in the image. Means the area where the object is present in the image, we can find out that area by using object detection. And in deep learning, we have various object detectors such as YOLO algorithm, faster RCNNs and single shot detectors. So I have already shown you how to use YOLO algorithm practically and even explained it, you know, theoretical part also. So if you want to go through it, so you can get the link from this description section over there. I have mentioned the link of YOLO algorithm. But in my today's class, I'll talk about faster RCNNs. So this is the layer architecture of faster RCNN. So see. As I just told you, this is an object detection algorithm. So the very first step of this algorithm is region proposal network. So this is the input image. So the very first step for this faster RCNN is region proposal network, which is also known as RPN. So first of all, I'll give you a brief idea like what is RPN, then we'll understand in depth like what is the functionality happening in this particular block region proposal network right so the task of rpn is to find out those areas in an image where there is a possibility of object presence means the area in the picture where object can be possibly found so if you'll see this picture where the object can be possibly found this area so with the help of rpn we will try to find out this area, the area where the object can be possibly found. So this is the basic idea of RPN. So see, and finally, once you get the area where object is present, we will label that area as a foreground class. Means wherever you'll get an object in an image, we will uh, label that area as a foreground class and the area where object is not present see this is the area right this all area where object is not present this area should get labeled as background class and the area which is labeled as foreground class means the area where object is present and which is labeled as foreground class will move forward to the next stage of the algorithm that area will move forward to the next stage of the algorithm all right so this is the basic idea of region proposal network now let's discuss uh, in a in, in more detailed way like what how this region proposal network do this thing how this region propos uh, proposal network you know find out the area where object is present and how it find out the area where object is not present so the task of rpn starts with the use of anchor boxes what we are using in the very first stage is anchor boxes. Now, what are anchor boxes? See, anchor boxes are basically a set of predefined bounding boxes of some height and width. So, you can see over here we have one anchor box, the height and width of this box is different, and we are using another anchor box, height and width of this anchor box is again different, right? So, see, uh, what we are doing over here is we are using different size of anchor boxes. Why we are using different size of anchor boxes? Because we want to capture object of every size. Sometimes object which is present in an image can be very small and sometimes that object can be a bigger. Let me show you with the help of a picture. Just see this picture. Over here for aeroplane, we are using a bounding box that is very small in size and the bounding box or anchor box which we are using for this uh, detecting this bo boat is a bigger anchor box so we are using different size of anchor boxes in our uh, problems so that we can detect every kind of um, you know uh, every kind of object all right so the very first step is anchor boxes right generating anchor boxes so when you once you generate the anchor boxes next thing is to calculate iou right okay so this is our input image so see i have 
uh, tiled the anchor boxes, the anchor boxes which I have just created, right? I have tiled all those anchor boxes on our image, all right? So once you generate the anchor boxes, the next step is to find out IOU. IOU simply means intersection over union. So what is intersection over union? Consider this example, please. So over here, I have one object, this car object. And this yellow box is the actual box. And this green box is a predicted box. So intersection over union means the area, the overlapped area. So this is the overlapping. This much area is overlapped. So intersection over union simply means if this overlapping is more than 50%, then that object will be detected by that box. Otherwise, if that overlapping, if that IOU is lesser than 50%, then our algorithm will not learn from that particular example. Right? So, and the anchor box with the higher IOU will be labeled as foreground class. Remember, I have just told you a few minutes back only the final task of this, uh, the final task of this RPN is to find out the area, right, where the object is present and label it as foreground. So, we will be labeling the area as foreground, we will be labeling that area as a foreground class where the IOU, the value of IOU is greater than 50%. Alright? And the area where, I means the other anchor boxes which have IOU less than 50% should label as background class. Simple. So, how we are saying that particular area is uh, a background class or a foreground class on the basis of this IOU. If the value of IOU is greater than 50%, that means that, uh, that particular anchor box will be labeled as uh, foreground class. And if the value is less than 50%, it will be labeled as background class. So in crux, we can say that the task of RPN is to predict foreground and background anchor boxes. And finally, the anchor boxes which are labeled as foreground class will go to the next stage. Now, what is the next stage? This is the next stage, right? What we are getting, what is the output of this RPN region proposal network? The output of this RPN is the anchor boxes which are labeled as foreground class. And remember, this RPN, region proposal network, this is a, um, you know, a sub CNN network means we are performing some convolutional neural network task over here. And the convolutional neural network which you want to use over here, see, you have an option, you can use LXNet, you can use VGGNet over here, right? So that means the output, the output which we will be getting from this particular uh, network is in the form of feature maps because if you're familiar with CNN so CNN will always give you output in the form of feature maps only right so the output from this region proposal network will be a feature maps of those anchor boxes which are labeled as um, foreground class all right so now the next stage is region of interest right in faster r cnn the first stage is this and the second stage is region of interest pooling which is also known as roi pooling see the data which roi pooling receive is the output of rpn and the output of rpn are the anchor boxes where object got captured and the anchor boxes which we are using the anchor boxes which we are using at this stage is of different sizes, right? That means the output anchor boxes from RPN means the output anchor boxes of RPN would be of different sizes only because we are using different anchor, different size of uh, anchor boxes, right? 
so here come the task of roi so the input to this roi is different size of feature maps so the task of roi is to reduce all the feature maps to same size right the feature maps which it receives from the previous layer is of different sizes so the task of roi is to reduce all the feature maps to a same size so for reducing the feature map for reducing the size of feature map basically roi how roi is reducing the size of feature map so for that it is taking a feature map for each region proposal right each region means each area where each area all right flatten that uh, feature map because you always need to flatten the feature map because uh, in the next few steps we are going to use classifier and regressor also so for that you need to flatten it uh okay guys uh, what i think is this part i'll explain you with the help of code in my next class i'll explain you the practical things because you will understand it in more you know good way when i'll explain you these things in a practical way right so for right now just i'm just uh, telling you just know that the task of roi is to reduce the size of feature maps which it received from the previous layer all right practically i'll explain you in the next class and finally we have one classifier and regressor in this faster r cnn the task of this classifier is to finally find out whether there is a object in a image or it is a background and the task of regressor is to you know draw a bounding box on the object which we classified if there is a object then we need a bounding box so it will refine that bounding box so this is what faster r cnn is so this is the basic idea in my next class i'll show you practically each and every step with proper example all right so thank you guys so if you like the video then please share subscribe and like my channel thank you